she's not only well loved or well remembered here in the islands, she was loved throughout the world. <laughs> The home had been a pleasant country retreat for the royal family. They often spent time in the Cool Valley estate to escape the dust and heat of Honolulu, just a few miles away. And when the baby was born, the king was so pleased, Emma was so pleased, that it was celebrated throughout the Hawaiian kingdom. It was so joyous because the heir to the throne had finally arrived. As monarchs, King Kamehameha IV and Queen Emma saw the need to care for their people physically, spiritually, and intellectually. <laughs> The heritage of Queen Emma, for me, rests in the hope for the future. There's pride. The fact that this was, at one time, the home, the summer palace of the royalty. Emma's strength makes this place come alive. If I had the opportunity to sit down with Queen Emma, I think I would love to share about what her legacy has grown to and what we've been able to accomplish. Through their benevolence, King Kamehameha IV and Queen Emma left a legacy that transcended their time on Earth.